Good evening, good evening. It is Tuesday the 3rd of December. Yeah, it's only just a week since last week. Yes, it is, Marco. <laughs> it's Tuesday the 3rd of December. You're watching Vapor Scene on VaporTales.tv. Uh, and it's been, as uh, Dave said on his show on Sunday, a busy week with lots of stuff going on. Twitter bombs here, there and everywhere. Thunderclaps at 5 o'clock tonight. There's been a lot going on. And of course, today's trilogue session, um, today being the 3rd of December. And um, yes, not brilliant, but we're still in with a fight, aren't we? Uh, and uh, all the work that has been done on the Twitter bombs by everybody uh, all over the place has been absolutely fantastic. We've been trending way up there in the top three to six all over the world and all over the country. So well done to everybody for that. Also, I have to say well done big well done and big kudos to Gary Dibley with this year's Children in Need raffle, uh, which I was watching last night. I wasn't in chat, but I was watching. Uh, and uh, yes, what uh, an amazing amount of money raised this year. And maybe next year we can get even more. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but uh, yes, very good. And some very lucky people. <laughs> I'm saying nothing apart from that. Just some very lucky people. Anyway, today we've got uh, the usual kind of stuff. We've got Show Is Yours in part two. We're going to look at the uh, Pro Tank 2, uh, which isn't terribly new, um, but uh, I only got one last week, so I thought I'd show you that. Uh, we're going to look at the uh, Neo Classic by Janty, uh, which I was vaping on at the weekend. Um, and uh, yes, we'll have a look at that. That's coming up very shortly. But all that has got to be, I guess, before the titles. <sighs> Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Yes, good evening. Welcome to Vapor Scene on Tuesday the 3rd of December 2013. Uh, and uh, just before the titles there, I was talking about the various tweets and Twitter bombs and what have you. Uh, and I'm just going to lean over because I can't see the bottom of my screen. <laughs> um, yes, I'm just looking. There's been 759 new tweets with the hashtag EU ESIG ban since um, half past five. Because that's when I turned this computer on. That was half past five, and I've been kind of not refreshing the page. Um, at five o'clock, when the thunderclap hit, there was tweets going everywhere. There was Facebook messages getting posted everywhere. Um, so hopefully, hopefully it's reached many, many thousands of people. And as I said, it's been trending everywhere. So well done to everyone who's been tweeting and such. I was retweeting, we retweeting last night. I was just sitting there going, retweet, retweet on everybody's tweets. Um, so uh, to get as many people out there as possible. Um, but um, yes, today's trilogue is a bit of a disappointment. Um, however, there's st still time and we're hoping that it's going to kind of click over into Greece. But because we know that the Lithuanians presidency, they don't really like E6, do they? Uh, and uh, this came up earlier. Uh, let me get to the right slide. This one. No, not that one. This one. There you go. Singapore one warns its public who use e-cigarettes further importing for personal use will result in five to ten thousand dollar fines and I thought wow that is mental I know that they're banned over there and I found this piece on TripAdvisor earlier um, it's, this is back in 2011 uh, and they were saying then um, you know if you use them over there you could well get fined so um, maybe it's time to start tweeting places that you don't want to go or that don't want vapors to be uh, and just stop going there. Uh, Singapore is quite expensive to get to, I know, but if other countries where a lot of people go to uh, for holidays start doing that, then um, hmm, I think their economy might suffer a little bit more than they imagine. Um, but let me update you on what 
uh, happened with my MP, Dan Jarvis. Because remember, a few weeks ago, I saw him on the 25th of October, and he was going to send a couple of questions to Jane Allison, and he did what he said he was going to do. And if we look here, this is what he sent. And if we look at the second question, uh, what research has been carried out by his department and the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency in relation to the use and efficacy of e-cigarettes and who funded such research. And Jane Allison replies there in the bottom section, uh, the MHRA was, has commissioned two studies at the Tobacco De Dependence Research Unit, Wolston Institute of Preventative Medicine and Queen Mary University of London. The first study was analysis of nicotine content in the cartridge contents and in the general vapor, generated vapor of electric cigarettes, electronic cigarettes, I can't read tonight, uh, and has been published. The outcome of the second study, evaluating toxin and nicotine delivery in the electronic cigarettes, has not yet been reported to the MHRA. Now, looking at that, I'm going to go back to the slide. Looking at that, you would think that there was three separate entities the Tobacco Dependence Research Unit, Wilson Institute of Preventative Medicine, and Queen Mary's University. I read that and I thought, hmm, three different things. They're actually the same place because the, uh, the first one, this one, <laughs> get my slides right tonight. Yes, the Wilson Institute of Preventative Medicine is part of Barts of London. Um, and the dependency unit is part of Wilson Institute. And they're all part of Queen Mary University of London. So was that some flannel or was that something else? I don't know. I read it as three different places. It's the same place in effect. Um, but the guy who did the research, if I go back to the, that one, yes. QM professor calls for rethink on e-cigarette regulation. This was the chap who is the director of the Tobacco Dependence Research Unit, and he also wrote in The Lancet. It's Peter Hayek. And he wrote in The Lancet, and if I go to the next slide, you will see what he said. And the bottom bit is the bit that's the good bit. For the first time in the history of tobacco control movement, a realistic possibility is emerging that the tobacco problem might get resolved, and that this could happen with minimal or no government involvement or expenditure. Regulators of medicines should hold their fire. Now we've seen that before. We've seen that piece before. Uh, and this is the guy who did the research for the MHRA. So I would have thought that is what he's telling the MHRA. Are they gonna take any notice? That's the question. <laughs> that is the question, isn't it? Are they gonna take any notice? Um, all we need to do is to keep doing what we're doing, keep fighting the good fight, keep the Twitter bombs going, keep the tweets going, keep the letters to the MPs going. Just keep on them until they see sense, because we know it's sense. Uh, they need to be persuaded it's sense. Um, yes, okay, so moving on from that, otherwise I'll be here all night <laughs> blathering about that because it's got me blood boiling. Uh, moving on from that, let's go to the first of my little vids. Uh, and the first one is going to be, I'm looking at my screen here trying to see it, uh, and it's here, yes. I took the little um, cross pipe that I showed you last week. I've got no close to Epicam this week. My cable broke earlier, so I can't plug it in. Um, yes, the cross pipe I showed you last week. I took down to London, uh, four hours on a course with um, Dazza, who is probably in chat, uh, who I work with. Uh, and uh, yes, this is uh, what I kind of got from what I did, but I filmed this earlier. <laughs> anyway, have a look. I thought I would update you on the uh, cross pipe that I showed you on last week's show. Uh, I took it down to London uh, last Wednesday because I was doing a, a course with uh, Dazza uh, from Chat, who I work with, and uh, we were down there for a couple of days. Uh, and I let him have a little look at it and a little go. Um, and... Uh, he quite likes it as well, I have to say. But he agreed with me on the placement of the button. 
um, which is, it, it is in a weird place. You would think it'd be better on the end, like the smock pipe, um, but holding it and vaping on it is, is rather, a, rather a pleasant experience, let me say. Still performing quite well. I've got it at about four volts. Um, let me just check it. Yeah, it's about four volts. Um, and I did have another look at the tank, uh, and it does appear to be Pyrex. Um, I looked back at last week's chat, and I tapped it, and I scratched it, and it does appear to be uh, a Pyrex tank. So all is good. Uh, and I've still got the same Esig Wiz juice in there, the uh, the coffee one, um, which I rather like. I do like my coffee juices, I have to say, um, and I absolutely love the Healthy Vape um, Caramel Macchiato, the Vanilla Caramel Macchiato uh, that I've run out of now, so I must get some more of that. Um, but uh, yes, I've had the battery changed a couple of times. I've only used it in the 18350 configuration while I was uh, in London, um, just it was more, it was easier to do that and, and keep in my pocket. Mm. The little tank does bring out the flavour of the juice rather nicely, I have to say, um, and I'm relatively impressed with the um, with the finish too. Um, it hasn't hasn't scratched too much in my pocket, um, and the tank was nice and easy to clean because I took it apart this morning and uh, cleaned it just to check the tank basically. Uh, and put it back together again. Um, when I get round to re-wicking it, that'll be interesting. Um, but like I said last week, it's a, an EVOD type bottom coil um, affair, so that should be fairly easy. Uh, and I've got some 28 gauge Canthal coming, um, because I saw a little bit of a video about the Trico coils uh, on Dave's show. Uh, Dave Kitchen said a couple of weeks ago, and I know Dave Dawn is going to be making one of these on uh, the Hayes Hour at some point. But I've also seen uh, the nano coils using 28 gauge canthal, um, so I'm going to be building one of those for the Pro Tank, uh, and uh, I will see how that one goes. Yes, anyway, let's go back to the studio. Yes, so that was um, kind of final thoughts on the cross. And I was just looking in chat at that. Adam, yes, Adam, I think it should be held with the bowl upwards. It's just the button is in a crazy place. So it doesn't lend itself, really. I suppose it, if I did it right-handed, it would. Yes. Mm. If I did it right-handed, it would. But when I'm driving, I vape left-handed. <laughs> so I've got my hand on the wheel because I drive an automatic, so I don't need to change gear. So I vape with my left hand. Um, but yes, and that's what's good about the smog pipe because it's got the button on the top and you can do it with your thumb that way, uh, which I find is is a nicer experience. But still, nice little mod and it's variable voltage, so um, I've been kicking out quite nicely today with that uh, in the motor. Uh, and the next one, um, and yes, the fire, the fire drill <laughs> had nothing to do with me and Daz, honest, nothing to do at all. We were actually in a session at the time and there'd been a fire drill at 10 o'clock and then 5 past 12 comes and it's like all hell goes loose. Uh, and it was so hot in there and it was the air conditioning that had set it off. But we were way down the end of the road and I was using the VTR um, and I had many mods with me. Uh, and I was teaching people, telling people what it was all about because people were saying, what is DAS? Uh, so DAS and I were explaining what it was all about. So hopefully... I did try and convert somebody, she was a smoker, uh, I, I lent her uh, the SVD with an Ego on it, um, but uh, an EVOD on it rather, and she had to go for one fag break, but she went back to fags after that, go figure, <laughs> actually not a bad liquid in there either, anyway, so you'll see in the, uh, on the VTR, I've actually got the Proton V2 with my long um, stainless steel tip on it, so uh, let's go and look at that right now. Some of you will have seen the Pro Tank 2 before and are quite likely using one. Um, I have only been using my original Pro Tank 1 
um, which yesterday I did re-wick um, with some one mil silica and some cotton wool. Uh, and uh, this is to test a flavour that I had, which I'll talk about a little bit later on. Um, but let me just show you what you do get with the Pro Tank 2. If we open the box, you first of all get a little instruction manual, which gives you resistances and voltages, which is quite handy. Uh, and I might just put that up on a little slide for you. And you get everything else in here. So let's take it all out. What you actually get is the tank itself. Um, you get two atomizer heads, which are both 1.8 ohm resistance. You get a little beautification ring, so you can fit it onto Ego batteries. And you get two spare silicon O-rings. Now there's only one there, because as I took it out, one of them pinged off and flew away <laughs> onto the floor. So I'll have to find that later. But you'll actually get two in with the tank. The main difference between the ProTank version 1 and the ProTank version 2 uh, is removable 510 connection drip tip, so you can put your own in. Uh, and also, if I take the bottom section out where the atomizer head goes and unscrew this, you can take it apart. which you couldn't with the version 1. So you can, if you break that, get a spare tube and replace it. So there you have the different sections. And putting it together is pretty easy. Screw the top section to the bottom section. And make sure it's nice and tight. There we go. That is together. We then just get hold of an atomizer head. And the version 1 atomizer heads will fit in the version 2. However, the version 3 atomizer heads will not fit in the version 2 currently. Different shape. So there you go. And then it's just a case of screwing in to the bottom and you are assembled, of course, with your drip tip. And I'm going to fill this with some blackjack gum. It's a Freedom Smoke Juice that I get from Liberty Flights. This one's an 18 milligram, um, and I like this one a lot. <laughs> uh, wish I could get a bigger bottle. Um, so simply, squeezy from the side. You know the drill. And that'll be about enough. Put in the bottom section and let it soak in for a little while. Um, and I could have probably put some more in there, um, but I think that will do to be going on with. So uh, let's put it on a device. What we got? Let's try it on the uh, X Fire variable voltage. This has already got the uh, little beauty ring on. And there you go, it is ready to go. Uh, and this is at uh, 3.8 volts, I'll set it at. Um, so uh, let's go back to the studio and uh, have a little vape on this. Yes, and back to me. Um, and it does vape very well, the Pro Tank 2, just as the Pro Tank 1 did. Uh, and the Pro Tank 3 is out, um, it's a dual coil head. Uh, and it's a slightly different fit. So the ProTank 2 heads will fit on a ProTank 3, but a ProTank 3 head won't fit on a ProTank 2. Uh, it's slightly different. Uh, and I'll be getting a ProTank 3 soon uh, to do uh, a little comparison on. Um, but yes, I do like the ProTanks. I like the fact that they're Pyrex, and I like the fact that I can chuck any juice into it and rebuild them. Uh, and the reason why I got the ProTank 2 was so I could do one of these uh, nano coils that uh, is this chap called RIP Trippers on YouTube um, and uh, he's got mental beard uh, and <laughs> he does some really good videos there um, so uh, when my 28 gauge canthal comes I'm going to build a nice nano coil for that 
Um, I better go to the ads because I'm way over already. So um, I'll see you in two minutes. Vapacine is proudly sponsored by Health Evape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. Now it's back to Vaporscene on Vapor Trails TV. Vaporscene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And welcome back to part two. Uh, I'll cut that just very slightly short because I'm running rapidly out of time. Um, I thought I would show you this this week, which is the Janty Neo Classic, um, which was the final thing that I won at Vapefest. <laughs> I'll get through them all eventually. And I've been using it for a few days. Um, and I thought, you know, it's a nice little starter device for somebody. Um, so have a little look and uh, see what you think. Well, we're always talking about the latest devices and the more complicated devices and the next generation devices, uh, say 3G devices. Um, I thought we'd look today at the Janty Neo Classic. Uh, and this is the final thing that came in my raffle prize from Vapefest. And I thought, yeah, it actually is worth looking at um, because for a starter, for a newbie, this is not a bad little device. So let's have a look at what you get inside. As you will see when you take the top of the box off, you get another couple of boxes. Um, you get two batteries and two purimizers, they're called. So let's just take everything out and then you can see. What we have here is an instruction booklet. Uh, this came from iVapor uh, and they also included a little card there. No smoke, no tar, no carcinogens. Legal to use anywhere. Well, we know that's the case. However, we know that some people still don't like us. <laughs> but there you go, moving swiftly along. You get two manual five click on five click off 650 milliamp batteries you get the charger usb charger to charge these batteries you get two of the ego purimizers and we'll look at those in detail very shortly um, they do have little silicon caps on in order to fill and they give you very handily some spare ones of those and there's also a little airflow ring 
which you get which fits on to the battery so uh, let's move all this aside we'll look at a battery a purimizer and we'll put it together and fill with some juice so here we are then we have the battery we have the little ring that fits on the battery to adjust airflow and we've got the neo purimizer as they're called and it's very simple ring goes onto the ego threading on the battery and then you very simply screw on your purimizer and the little ring you can adjust for your airflow and there you have it all we need to do is fill with some juice and we'll do that with the device off in order to fill um, you need to just pull back a little silicon cap here which I have now done and you'll see here there is a little opening and that is where your juice is going to go so you do need a fairly small needle tip or a bottle that's got a, a reasonably small spout if you like and I have one here and this is some Jack Vapor bubblegum um, and it is PG 18 milligram um, and so we just simply put inside and squeeze away until we see we've got enough juice in there obviously the wicks will soak some up and that is looking almost full I think we'll just leave it at that a couple of mils and then you just push back on the silicon bung and you are sealed a little drip there if this breaks you can pull the whole thing off and then use one of the five spares that are included in the kit so now all we need to do is uh, put this back on the battery and vape away and here we are with the purimizer um, on the battery itself you can twist the mouthpiece um, so it's either in line with the battery button or offset to the battery button whichever you prefer and there is your little ring that you can just turn around to vary the airflow as well um, little LED on the bottom as well as on the battery uh, and as I said it is a five click on five click off so now we're on flashes at the bottom flashes at the battery and it's simply a case of pushing your button and you can hear it firing there it does have a 10 second cutoff so once you've been pressing that for 10 seconds it will in fact cut itself off that's to protect you from uh, burning yourself if it's in your pocket uh, and also so you don't burn out the purimizer so um, we'll have a look back in the studio and uh, we'll see how it vapes yes and it vapes rather well I have to say um, I'm not liking the juice much but uh, it does vape rather well mm. not bad um, given that I've been using this for a few days on and off uh, so the battery's going on it um, but you take the purimizer off and put it on say a SID or an EVIC uh, and bump it up to nine and a half ten watts and you get plenty 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 vapor <laughs> but there you go not a bad little starter device for somebody who's uh, maybe wanting to make the switch not too faffy uh, I think it's probably a little bit more faffy than just a clearo to be fair um, with a little silicon bung thing um, but still not bad not bad at all um, well I've shown you a few little mods it's about time that you showed me yours so uh, here's this week's show us yours gallery and now it's time for show us yours sponsored by flavor art UK <laughs>
Show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. And that was this week's Show is Yours Gallery. It's very dangerous looking at chat while you've got videos going. <laughs> I'm not going to say what Gillas said, but I've got some advice for you, Gillas, and that is make sure you boil it first. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, let's see who's won this week. Uh, let's go to my slide. There we go. It, uh, it is Carl Hugh. I hope I'm saying your name right. Carl, uh, aka Sputz40, and he sent this picture in a few weeks ago. So well done, Carl. I will email you a little bit later on and tell you how you get your bottle of juice. And if you would like to do the same while we keep running, show is yours. It's vapor scene at vaporchills.tv. Get your picture in to me by 12 o'clock on a Tuesday, and it will go into the draw for that week. So that was it. I'm over again. <laughs> Sorry, cat. I did tell her in Skype. Uh, yes, that's uh, Vapor Scene for this week. Don't forget, tune in tomorrow night at 9 o'clock for VT Talk with Mr. Dave Dawn and Ms. Ms. Mrs. <laughs> Sam. Uh, and uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more in-depth analysis of what happened today. Uh, and then, of course, the Haze Hour for more funkiness and vaping jollities with uh, Dave and Keith on Thursday. Sunday it is Dave's Tackle Box with Mr. Dave Kitson. Hello, Dave in chat. Uh, and uh, Monday... It's Tim Your Tip with Gary and Mark. I am back next week, and until then, my friends, have fun, vape hard. Tatty bye. Scene is proudly sponsored by Health Evade, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. <laughs>